7 Tips for SolidWorks Freelancers SolidWorks freelancers are the ones banking on a lot of money these days. All they do is take SolidWorks training, learn the ins and outs of the CAD software program, and start making money from freelance sites. If you've some experience in SolidWorks and are willing to monetize your expertise, then don't wait for long. It's time you start promoting your business, your skills, and make money from it. Ahead in this article, you'll read some very beneficial tips that will the SolidWorks freelancers. So continue reading. Tip 1. Become an expert The first thing is to become an expert of the software. There are many versions out there in the market such as SolidWorks 2010 and SolidWorks 2012. These versions have different features that are very much important. So learn about all the versions and become an expert in them. Tip 2. Read about SolidWorks freelance options after you become an expert. Read as much as possible about SolidWorks freelancing options. This will help you understand the market. You'll know what features are in demand and what projects are available in abundance. In short, you'll know about design and drafting projects, what type of 3D models are much in demand, product data management tools, about simulation, so on and so forth. Tip 3. Find freelance SolidWorks sites Figure out at least two to three sites where real-time SolidWorks projects are available. People who look for SolidWorks jobs can easily find them. The second tip will help you here. Based on the preference of your work, you'll be able to find freelance sites on the internet. Make a note of them and study them carefully. Tip 4. The pricing and payments then come to the most important aspect i.e. pricing and payments. Know how much to charge for a particular work, what are the features and services included for a particular price, and how are the payments processed and everything else related to payment terms and conditions. And when you bid for a project, bid keeping all these in mind. Don't bid too high or way too low. Just charge the true worth of the project. Tip 5. The turnaround time for any service business to be successful. Turnaround time matters. Make a note of the turnaround time given by competition and try to reduce it to minimum. Most SolidWorks professionals who buy SolidWorks and are into SolidWorks freelancing business underestimate the turnaround time factor. You don't do the same. Instead, keep it as a high priority. Tip 6. Communicate clearly being a freelancer might risk the payment prospects. You never know who's who on the internet. So communicate clearly and ask for at least 50% of the payment in advance and discuss the terms and conditions in advance to avoid any troubles later on. Tip 7. The service quality using SolidWorks require expertise which you already have. Concentrate on providing quality. Whether you do 3D or 2D modeling design, or create concept models or prototypes, or create icons or layouts, the quality should be top class. Only then, you'll be able to grab projects easily and retain clients for a longer period of time. Conclusion SolidWorks freelancers have a plenty of opportunities waiting online. All what people want is quality work. Give them your work samples, understand their needs, charge fairly, produce quality designs and 3D models using whatever SolidWorks version you use, and keep the cash registers ringing. It's not really tough though. Follow these tips to become a brand on the web, work would come automatically and your search for the SolidWorks projects will end.